Peptidoglycan, Wikipedia article audio. Peptidoglycan, also known as murian, is a polymer consisting of sugars and amino acids that forms a mesh-like layer outside the plasma membrane of most bacteria, forming the cell wall. The sugar component consists of alternating residues of beta-linked N-acetylglucosamine and N-acetylmeramic acid. Attached to the N-acetylmeramic acid is a peptide chain of 3 to 5 amino acids. The peptide chain can be cross-linked to the peptide chain of another strand forming the 3D mesh-like layer. Peptidoglycan serves a structural role in the bacterial cell wall, giving structural strength, as well as counteracting the osmotic pressure of the cytoplasm. A common misconception is that peptidoglycan gives the cell its shape, however, whereas peptidoglycan helps maintain the structural strength of the cell, it is actually the MREB protein that facilitates cell shape. Peptidoglycan is also involved in binary fission during bacterial cell reproduction. Structure Biosynthesis Inhibition Similarity to pseudopeptidoglycan The peptidoglycan layer is substantially thicker in gram-positive bacteria than in gram-negative bacteria, with the attachment of the S layer. Peptidoglycan forms around 90% of the dry weight of gram-positive bacteria but only 10% of gram-negative strains. Thus, Presence of high levels of peptidoglycan is the primary determinant of the characterization of bacteria as gram-positive. In gram-positive strains, it is important in attachment roles and serotyping purposes. For both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, particles of approximately 2 nm can pass through the peptidoglycan. The peptidoglycan layer in the bacterial cell wall is a crystal lattice structure formed from linear chains of two alternating amino sugars, namely N-acetylglucosamine and N-acetylmeramic acid. The alternating sugars are connected by a beta-glycosidic bond. Each MERNAC is attached to a short amino acid chain, containing L-alanine, D-glutamic acid, mesodiaminopamelic acid, and D-alanine in the case of Escherichia coli or L-alanine, D-glutamine, L-lysine, and D-alanine with a 5-glycine interbridge between tetrapeptides in the case of Staphylococcus aureus. Peptidoglycan is one of the most important sources of D-amino acids in nature. Cross-linking between amino acids in different linear amino sugar chains occurs with the help of the enzyme DD transpeptidase and results in a three-dimensional structure that is strong and rigid. The specific amino acid sequence and molecular structure vary with the bacterial species. The structure of peptidoglycan Gram-positive cell wall Penicillin binding protein forming cross links in newly formed bacterial cell wall. The peptidoglycan monomers are synthesized in the cytosol and are then attached to a membrane carrier bactoprenol. Bactoprenol transports peptidoglycan monomers across the cell membrane where they are inserted into the existing peptidoglycan. In the first step of peptidoglycan synthesis, glutamine, which is an amino acid, donates an amino group to a sugar, fructose 6-phosphate. This turns fructose 6-phosphate into glucosamine 6-phosphate. In step 2, an acetyl group is transferred from acetyl-CoA to the amino group on the glucosamine 6-phosphate creating an acetyl glucosamine 6-phosphate. In step 3 of the synthesis process, the N-acetylglucosamine 6-phosphate is isomerized, which will change N-acetylglucosamine 6-phosphate to N-acetylglucosamine 1-phosphate. In step 4, the N-acetylglucosamine 1-phosphate, which is now a monophosphate, attacks UTP. 
uridine triphosphate, which is a pyrimidine nucleotide, has the ability to act as an energy source. In this particular reaction, after the monophosphate has attacked the UTP, an inorganic pyrophosphate is given off and is replaced by the monophosphate, creating UDP and acetyl glucosamine. This initial stage is used to create the precursor for the NAG in peptidoglycan. In step 5, some of the UDP and acetyl glucosamine is converted to UDP MERNAC by the addition of a lactyl group to the glucosamine. Also in this reaction, the C3 hydroxyl group will remove a phosphate from the alpha carbon of phosphenol pyruvate. This creates what is called an enol derivative that will be reduced to a lactyl moiety by NADFIN step 6. In step 7, the UDP MERNAC is converted to UDP MERNAC pentapeptide by the addition of five amino acids, usually including the dipeptide D alanyl D alanine. Each of these reactions requires the energy source ADP. This is all referred to as stage 1. Stage 2 occurs in the cytoplasmic membrane. It is in the membrane where a lipid carrier called bactoprenol carries peptidoglycan precursors through the cell membrane. Bactoprenol will attack the UDP MERNAC penta, creating a PP MERNAC penta, which is now a lipid. UDP glucnac is then transported to MERNAC, creating lipid PP MERNAC pentaglucnac, a disaccharide also a precursor to peptidoglycan. How this molecule is transported through the membrane is still not understood. However, once it is there, it is added to the growing glycan chain. The next reaction is known as Trang glycosylation. In the reaction, the hydroxyl group of the glucnac will attach to the mernac in the glycan, which will displace the lipid PP from the glycan chain. The enzyme responsible for this is transglycosylase. Some antibacterial drugs such as penicillin interfere with the production of peptidoglycan by binding to bacterial enzymes known as penicillin binding proteins or DD transpeptidases. Penicillin binding proteins form the bonds between oligopeptide crosslinks in peptidoglycan. For a bacterial cell to reproduce through binary fission, more than a million peptidoglycan subunits must be attached to existing subunits. Mutations in genes coding for transpeptidases that lead to reduced interactions with an antibiotic are a significant source of emerging antibiotic resistance. Lysozyme, which is found in tears and constitutes part of the body's innate immune system exerts its antibacterial effect by breaking the beta-glycosidic bonds in peptidoglycan. Some archaea have a similar layer of pseudopeptidoglycan, in which the sugar residues are beta-linked N-acetylglucosamine and N-acetylthalosaminuronic acid. This makes the cell walls of such archaea insensitive to lysozyme.